name is Ime Kelly and I am a Philadelphia Young Playwrights teaching artist. I taught with Philadelphia Young Playwrights last year at Central High School with Christine MacArthur and met an amazing student, Joshua Lynch, who truly and honestly, even though he doesn't know this, changed my outlook and perspective on teaching and on being an artist in general. Um, before I became a teaching artist with PYP, I got caught up in the idea that my artistry ended in the theater, that all I had to do was learn my lines, perform the play, take a bow, and my job was done. And uh, I met Amy as an actor and worked with PYP for a year just as an actor. And, uh, you know, told her my interest in being a teaching artist, and she finally gave me the opportunity to go into the classroom. And I taught at Central, and I also taught a sixth grade class, which was also very amazing. Um, and it reminded me that part of the reason that I came into theater and why I'm an actor is because it really is about the audience. And that audience doesn't only have to be in the theater, but it can absolutely be in the classroom and in our communities. I think PYP is one of those amazing organizations that really drive that idea home, that we all have a voice, that we all have something to say. And uh, they reminded me about that and that that's why I'm here. Um, funnily enough, Joshua was one of those students who had a lot of charisma, knew who he was, uh, was a senior when I was teaching with Christine. Um, and I remember one of the first things that I got to know about Joshua was that he wanted to be a wrestler. And I think he said he had interest in acting. He was definitely one of those guys that wasn't shy to get up on stage and read anybody else's scene. Um, he loved collaborating with his fellow ensemble members and kind of editing other people's scenes and really listening to what he thought needed to happen. Uh, but I, I think at first it was definitely about the uh, love of attention. And who can blame him, right? We all kind of love attention. But I think as we went through the process, something changed. I remember introducing the, the, the phrase ethical dilemma into the classroom. And it's a, it's a phrase that I learned in high school that is, that has always stuck with me as an artist, which is, you know, we perform these plays, we write these plays, we talk about these plays that um, change the world. And uh, they ask these big questions, right? Um, questions about religion, questions about life and why we're here and what's the wrong answer, what's the right answer. And I remember introducing that idea to Joshua and he kind of changed in this way that was, you know, evident through his writing. Um, he really became interested in the big ideas, not just um, the typical high school love story or the, uh, you know, the cool kids versus the not so cool kids. And I think Joshua always knew that he was one of the cool kids and that his voice could really change a lot of people. And it did. I think as soon as Joshua made the decision to talk about something real and, and you know, have a voice that everyone can kind of relate to, I think the, the rest of the students in the class kind of stepped up that, oh, this jock, this guy in our class that we thought was about one thing has really kind of changed and, and turned into someone who has a voice in our community. And as a teacher, that's never happened to me before. Um, I'm a young teacher. This was only my second year teaching. And to see kind of a mirror effect of what happened to me way back in high school happened to someone that I was teaching it was quite moving. Um, and it didn't end there. Joshua also worked with me that summer after I taught. And he became completely and fully immersed in theater, not only as an amazing actor, but as an amazing playwright who truly has his own voice and has something to say. I mean, talk about perseverance and um, going beyond the stereotype of what 
everyone thinks you should be in, you know, what everyone labels you as, you know, the cool jock. You know, the cool jock actually had some great ideas and, and, and a lot of interesting things to say. Um, Christine and I talked a lot about Joshua as one of those people that we saw with a bright future. Um, regardless of any path he goes down, he's going to have a bright future. But the fact that he chose to stick with theater and to stick with playwriting is, it is beyond words. And it is something that I will never forget as a young teacher. It's one of those moments I will always go back to and say, yep, this is why I do this. It's not just about what happens on that stage and what happens to the audience in the theater, but the audience in the classroom is definitely, definitely, that's where the good stuff is. <laughs>